For nearly three years, very few details surrounding the death of Detective Constable Jeffrey Northrup have been made public. Almost nothing was known about Umar Zamir, the man that police accused of first-degree murder for allegedly running Northrup down with his car in the underground parking garage at Nathan Phillips Square just after midnight on July 2, 2021. Throughout the trial, we learn that Zamir left his home in Thornhill on the evening of July 1, 2021, with his wife, who was eight months pregnant at the time, and their then two-year-old son. They said they came in hopes that there would be some sort of Canada Day celebration in the downtown core. Video from that evening shows Zamir parking his BMW in the underground garage at Nathan Phillips Square just after 11 p.m. on July 1st. The family can be seen walking around the area for a little over an hour. At one point, they walked past a man who wasn't wearing a shirt and had a stab wound to his abdomen. Not long after that, they decided to return to their car. As part of the Crown's case against Zamir, they called three Toronto police officers who were all there to investigate the stabbing that night. Among those officers was Detective Constable Lisa Forbes, who was with Northrop as the two officers approached Zamir's vehicle on foot in the garage. Forbes testified that they wanted to question him about the stabbing. Neither Northrop or Forbes were in uniform. Constable Forbes testified that both she and Northrop identified themselves as police officers. She said they were standing outside the driver's window when the car lurched forward. They began banging on the car, ordering Zamir to stop. She said the car then reversed out of the parking spot and drove directly at Northrop. Forbes said the car hit him, knocking him to the ground, and then ran him over. Other officers also testified to seeing Northrop standing with his hands raised when he was hit by Zamir's BMW. The defense introduced security video from the parking garage that tells a different story. This video, that would become a key piece of evidence in the trial, does not show Northrop standing in the laneway when Zamir's car is seen driving away. Both Zamir and his wife, Ada Sheikh, were called to testify. They described a very chaotic scene after being approached by a man and a woman. They both claimed that officers Forbes and Northrop never identified themselves as police. Sheikh said she saw Forbes' badge but thought it was fake. Zamir said he didn't see a badge on either of the officers. Zamir said he mistakenly thought the two officers were criminals because of the way they were dressed and the way they were acting. Sheikh said she thought they were trying to rob them and she thought they were going to kill them. Zamir said he was scared and tried to drive away, but was blocked by a dark-colored van that pulled in front of his car. He said he did not know it was an unmarked police van. With officers Northrup and Forbes still banging on the car, ordering him to stop and get out, Zamir said he made the decision to reverse out of his parking spot to get away. Two different accident reconstruction specialists, one from the Crown, the other from the defense, contradicted the officer's testimony. Both said it was likely that Zamir's BMW sideswiped Northrop as evidenced by this cleaning mark on the front fender. They also testified that there was no evidence to support the officer's testimony that Northrop was hit head-on and landed on the hood of Zamir's car. Barry Raftery, who was called by the defense, testified that Zamir would not have seen Constable Northrop on the ground because he would have been blocked by the blind spot created by the hood of his car. Zamir testified that he did not see Northrop but did feel something that he thought was a speed bump as he was driving away. While driving through the parking garage, Zamir said he told his wife to call 911. When they arrived at the exit, they were blocked by two white vehicles stopped at the pay stations. Within seconds, they were rammed from behind by the unmarked police van that they had encountered earlier. The van hit them with enough force to deploy both of its airbags. According to Zamir, two armed men emerged from the van and ordered him and his wife out of the car at gunpoint. Neither of the men were wearing police uniforms either. Both of the white vehicles parked at the pay stations crashed through the parking gate to escape. The driver of one of those cars later testified he was scared and thought the two armed men were going to kill them. He said he didn't see any police in the parking garage. At some point, the two armed men put on police vests. Zamir and his wife both testified that they told them they didn't know they were police officers and said they were scared, which is why they were trying to get away. Zamir said one of the men pointed to blood on the side of his car and said, that's my partner's brains. Zamir said that officer later punched him in the face while he was handcuffed and on his knees. During his testimony, Zamir became very emotional at times. He said he often wished he never came downtown that night.
He said he was horrified when he was told that Detective Constable Northrup had died. Through tears, he said his heart bleeds every time he thinks of Northrup's family. He said he's so sorry that this ever happened. 